Now guys, as you can see, back out here at it again. Um, we're just going to carry on going down here for a bit. And uh, I'll show you some of the views, some of these fields. There you go. Just coming out into the entrance to one now. You can see the skies will hear me. Um, but what a beautiful day. So yeah, we're looking to do uh, around about six miles again today. Um, hopefully. Birds up in the trees. Plenty of them around here. It's like a bird fight going on. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyway, like I say, looking to do around about six miles again today. I've got the bigger pack on today. Don't know if you can see that right here. This is the uh, Osprey Stratus 50. I've got it loaded up with a bit of extra gear. It's giving me a bit of extra weight. Um, only had it on. 10 15 minutes, but uh, yeah, very comfortable again. Sits absolutely lovely. I think I've measured out the, the little back lines for the straps we can unvelcro them just about right again. Waist bag sitting right on my waist where it should be. <coughs> so, yeah, hopefully, uh, we should be doing all right. We should go okay. I'm going to take quite a dark path today. So, uh, more in the woods than it is in these fields. But as you can see, the sun's only just starting to come up over some of these trees. So, I'll bring you back in a bit. All I can say is wow. Walk out into this from quite a dark, eerie pathway. Amazing place up here. Really is lovely. We're going to follow this path down here. And uh, crack on with this walking. Absolutely silent up here. Just come out from the field there that you just saw and walked into this. There's loads of fallen trees. This is a nature reserve fence. It separates the reserve from a small patch of woodlands and then uh, a private housing estate. But, uh, we're just on the outside edge. We're not even inside the reserve yet. Really. Well, we're inside the reserve obviously because of the fence, but we're not actually up and inside it yet. We're gonna walk around and then cut up through. So, but yeah, it's quite chilly actually in here um, without the sun. That sun is amazing how much warmth that sun actually gives us. So, right. let's get a bit of walking done and I'll bring you back. A bit of a, a, bit of a naughty today. Skip breakfast because I knew I was coming out. So, uh, salted caramel for breakfast. And it's still quite early yet, it's probably half eight. With that, um, I 
where it doesn't look. Tastes really nice actually. It's not as Moorish as the uh, the other one that I was uh, having that I had yesterday. I say this one's a salted caramel, 125 grams of sodium with caffeine. So, don't look like I need a coffee. <laughs> very, very large badger dens. Some holes aren't used as much as others, but that one just there is very well used. This one here is quite well used. Quite chalky, as you can see. But this set, uh, another one there. This one here, next to the fence line, believe it or not. The uh, path's all raised up and bumpy here. But it goes to an old disused one there. There's another one behind it. And there's a couple of big ones just behind them stumps there. Um, obviously I'm not going to tell you where this is, uh, I have done a camp just a bit further up here over there and taken some photos of the badgers if I remember I'll, um, I'll stick them into this video when I post it um, at night time because that is still a used one, a couple of them are quite big, um, there seems to be quite a few there, a good half dozen of them or so around. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'll bring you back in a bit. Hello well, guys, after um, being attacked by a dog, I uh, tried biting my leg, got slobber all over my trousers. Um, the guy wasn't even sorry about it. I've uh, come off the main path and come up a uh, a 10 meter incline, I think it says on the map. Quite a short 10 meter incline. So, you can imagine being short, it's quite steep. But, uh, yeah, I thought I'd get away from the main dog walker's path after that little incident. I mean, the guy had two dogs, they were both on the lead, on a narrow path. He's walking down, this dog was growling as it was going towards me, and then just decided to attack me. Um, he didn't ask if I was alright or anything, he just pulled his dog and was like, come on, carried on walking. So, not very nice. I think I'd at least checked if it was my dog to make sure it didn't get you and that he was alright. I wouldn't eat his clothing or anything. But, uh, yeah, not so much fun. I'm leveling out now. actually uh, lots of, uh, I don't know if you can see, little orange dots and on certain trees all throughout the path. I'm not sure if they're to mark the path as a path or, oh sorry. I don't know if you can see that. Just sitting there. Don't know if you got to see him or not. Running along eating his sweet chestnuts for the look of it. There are all sorts of animals here. Roe deer, badgers, foxes. There's, there's quite a lot here, so it's not a huge woodland, don't get me wrong, but it's substantial. Um, well, I mean, it'd have to be to, to have roe deer in it, I suppose. 
there's a few of them on them fields you sort of showed you earlier if you come early enough in the morning sometimes when the mists just leave in the field you can see a good I've, I think the most I've ever seen is probably about 20 sort of like on the top of the field and, that, and as you come into the bottom of it they sort of like all scarper back into the woodlands again but I mean there could be more there or less so I couldn't really tell you it was I mean the field's probably a mile and a half long two miles long so yeah okay been knackered already after yesterday's walk. Hopefully uh, today's video won't take me as long to upload. Um, my YouTube capture app for my iPhone. Apparently it's not uh, compliant with iOS 11. Um, and obviously I've done my update to make it 11.0.2 or whatever it is now. So obviously YouTube Capture needs to update their app so that I can now read it, because I've deleted it now, because I can't use it. Um, so I need to update that app so I can use it again, because it makes life so much easier for uploading videos. Anyway, okay, I'll bring you back when I find somewhere to camp and make a coffee. I'm going to have a coffee halfway today, I think. Dear. I've just seen two deer run down here right, off up this way off camera. Um, amazing place. I'll just give you a little look around. So I'm quite in the into the woods now. We're gonna follow this path up here. Um I'm gonna go deeper in. Yeah. Gutted I couldn't get them bow deer on camera. It's a shame. Quite further in now. Some lovely trees. But there's so many that are split off. I mean this one's actually split away from this one. It's leaning over a lot. But you can probably see if I look straight up and down. But as you see, it's just split away from the bottom. I'm down through there. Um, just looking for a nice little spot now to uh, have a coffee, really. Yeah. Find somewhere to uh, sit down and set up the trangy, I think. This way. So, yeah, set up the trangy, make myself a coffee. Um, legs are really, really pumping today. Um, whether that was because maybe I overdid it yesterday for the first time back out in a few months. Possibly, I don't know. Um, but seems to be a quite painful trip today. But then saying that I've done some quite steep climbs already. That first 10 metre ascent was horrible. Such a short ascent, but it's just so steep. But I just wanted to get away from that dog. Um, somebody's been up here trying to build a uh, type of shelter. And they just, uh, as you can see, Got the twigs. Hey, oh, we've got a little stump in there to sit on. And this fallen, I don't know what tree it is. But yet again, another fallen tree. Weird branches. Maybe it was an old fallen tree type of thing with the branches shaped like that. Or they've just rotted like that and bent over. Very, very curly. I mean, if that was standing up, they'd all be curling up and pointing into the sky. Very strange. Very good natural arch though. Um, I mean if they were, if you used to cut them off, put one end in the ground, you'd have like a, put a tarp over, you could have like a tunnel effect. Two or three of them. 
And you get yourself a, a nice hooped tank, these guys. But, uh, just got to be careful walking through this undergrowth. There are adders out and about in here. Some of them can be quite large as well. Don't know if you know, they can be quite hard to spot sometimes as well. So, is that, is that pine pitch? I saw a bit of pine pitch and just uh, even this, this is ready to snap off. So, this branch here, it's all punky, literally. Probably goes to that tree. In the main stem of that tree is alive, but the rest of it's dead. But I see, someone's been out here. I wouldn't want to trust that shirt too much, though. It looks quite rotten now. Although some of these branches look like they haven't long been put here. So, I mean, this one here looks quite new and fresh. So maybe, possibly, I don't know. There's kids out, giving it a go. And uh, having some fun as we all did as a kid, I suppose. But, to be honest, that looks a bit rotten and dangerous to me. Um, and even then, as a kid, I wouldn't be using rotten woods. And that quite often I'd have used strong words. I would have checked most of the stuff if it's going above my head. And that was a fairly sensible kid when I was out in the wood building the tent. But yeah. Anyway. So keep going. Oh, another tree. Huge great big split. Let's see if I can get that in. Deadwood. Oh, and you can see just here, all the way along here, this big tree branch. And it's come uh, from there, as you can see, up there, where it's, that's it there. You can see it's all split off. And it's come crashing down here. Mental. It's like these trees are just rotting from wherever. Uh, I mean, the tree itself, if you look at it, you'd never think it was dead. Although that bit there's obviously been down for quite some time now. Because it's dead. There's no greenery left on it. Everything on it looks dead. But the tree itself looks absolutely fine. So, um, oh god, I'm standing underneath a bit of deadwood as well. This bit here, coming up here, with this V goes all the way up and if you look it's just that bit stood there so god knows where that one's fallen from to have landed there like that and if someone's stood it up but, uh, yeah not the greatest should probably get a better view see up here this is where that bit of that huge branch has just peeled down and snapped off and peeled the main stem, but that's quite some trunk to uh, to peel off like that, which makes me think maybe lightning strike. Um, uh, maybe a woodpecker's got a bit too happy at one side. I don't know, um, but to make it split like that is uh, quite some feat. I mean, a really strong gust of wind, I suppose, maybe could have. Could have done it, it pokes out from the rest of the stem quite a lot. But that's quite a big snap and tear. Ah, oh. this tree here is obviously the tree that was down there, um, made by the kids that had obviously fallen over. So I don't know if any of you can see that very well. So, uh, 
quite a solid bark. Um, some of it's peeling off, some of it isn't. Um, but yeah, what have you when you look up? Look. It's like a billion spiders all sat on top of each other, doesn't it? With the legs dangling over each other. <laughs> oh, got a bunch of mushrooms here. There. A couple just there. I seem to be um, coming across more and more mushrooms recently. come to an area of uh, a footpath there's tons of these chestnuts are everywhere not even five minutes and I've filled up quite a good little bag full so I'm gonna gather another handful or so and uh, leave the rest for somebody else and the wildlife I don't actually have that much more time left on this tablet for videoing Nearly filled it up. Um, although I think it's just the SD card that's filled up. So, um, but uh, I'm just going to back into the reserve area again now. I haven't stopped for a coffee, I've just been drinking my water. Um, you saw me stop and get some uh, sweet chestnuts, obviously. But, um, yeah, feeling quite drained today. Um, so, unfortunately, I think I'm going to cut this trip a bit short. And just head round the rest of the reserve back home. Um, like I say, feeling quite tired. I wouldn't say tired, but body just feels a bit lethargic. Um, still trying to get over this flu obviously as well. Just feels drained all the time. But um, yeah, I think uh, I think that'll be it. This last few minutes I just thought I'd bring you around to uh, the uh, ponds that we've got going on here. It's, uh, lost a lot of water by the look of it. It was filled up a lot higher than that. The uh, people that helped look after the reserve relined all the base the way around and filled with water but obviously um, this sign saying please don't throw stones because we're trying to encourage frogs etc um, I think this was supposed to be some sort of waterfall feature for it so the water would come in and then drop down and back out again or something along the lines either that or it would just fill up like a trough and just when there's too much it would just dribble back down into the pond anyway but as you can see it's not really much left of the pond, unfortunately. Um, looks like somebody else is uh, been able to go out trying to build a den of some sort. But yeah, just thought I'd show you this as I've got about a minute and a half, two minutes left on the uh, SD card. So, shame really. Youngsters and hooligans that want to damage it. This was only done at the beginning of summer, it was all redone at the beginning of summer, ready for the summer. Um, I mean, a couple of weeks ago when I was up here, and that just brought, having a, a little stroll, not a proper height, just a little stroll. The water was up, you can see the edges just there where they lined it all, um, and the water was maybe an inch below that. Now obviously it's more like a foot, a foot of water gone. Um, I mean obviously some of that may be due to drought but some of it's due to obviously like down here where it's all been cracked. 
um, whether that's due to temperatures and it cracking or people throwing stuff in it and cracking it, jumping in it, walking through it and stuff, I don't know. To me, when you've got something like that that's been done for everybody and for nature, that gets ruined by people that just don't really care. Um, hence why I normally the reserve, I like walking around the reserve, it's only a small reserve, but it's not a hard track. Um, so only once you go through the other side of it into the woodlands, it becomes really quite hard. Um, 